Okay, Keith and Kevin here uh, from BeatTheCasino.com. Listen, uh, we wanted to give you a little insight uh, first off into the V87 solution. Uh, and the reason is, is because it's uh, on the app, the Ultimate Baccarat app. So we wanted to kind of go through it in a series of videos. So this will be a couple uh, of how the V87% solution works and uh, you know how it's tied into the app. And it'll be, take a couple of videos to do a nice job, I think, Kevin. But uh, first off, uh, we just wanted to talk about the basics. And uh, I'm going to put up, uh, I guess, uh, a, a slide here and uh, about the uh, how, how to approach V87 to start off, if that's all right. Sounds good. All right. So uh, if you remember this one, uh, Kevin, this was the original uh, V87 uh, instructional type slide that we uh, that we have. So, uh, you know, I'll throw it over to you. We're going to talk about one staying ones here. So if you want to kind of give the folks a little bit of an insight into that, uh, you know, go go right ahead, buddy. Well, well what we're going to talk about, Keith, is what is V87? What is visual 87? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first thing to understand is, is that 87% of all events. Yes. Okay. Are either going to be one in a row, two in a row, or three in a row before they truncate and move to something different. Yeah. Now, why is that? That's because 50% of all events, event is just before it changes, are one in a row. So after one in a row, 50% go to two or more. Yep. After two in a row, 25% go to three or more. And after three in a row, 12 and a half percent will go to four or more. Okay. Yes. That adds up to 87.5%. So we called it V87 for visual 87. Because yeah. this is something you can look at right on the while you're playing. This is something you're going to see time and time again. Is it going to happen exactly in the right order every shoe? Well, no. Of course not. Is it yeah. going to happen over a long period of time? Absolutely. Yep. So yep, this is, uh, uh, you're not getting cheated by the casino. <laughs> no, nope, no. Nope. This is what's going to happen. Yep. Okay, so in this so, ex example, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, so so basically we're going to talk about how, how, how do you analyze this? How do you look at this? What are, you, what are you looking for? Well, you've got to break down the player side from the banker side and then also look at it in total. And those three things will give you the clue to how this particular shoe is behaving. Yes. And I, I want to interject too. This is kind of a basic way to play. Like if you're just starting out in Baccarat or, you know, you're kind of a casual player, we picked this for a reason. Is This is just a great way to start. I, don't, I can't think of any other approach uh, that's a better way to play uh, when you're first starting out. I think you agree with that, Kevin. You know? uh, I would call this how to win Baccarat 101. 101. Yeah, absolutely. This is how really? to win Baccarat. Yeah. It, it points out disparity. You learn disparities. You learn what the events are. You learn one in a row, two in a row, three in a row. As I said, you point out disparity. And what's most important, I think, too, is it points out what you should be looking for and the theory behind the betting in this Baccarat is that what's ahead in a shoe is probably going to stay ahead and probably go more ahead. And you want to be on that trend. You want to find that so-called bias that we're actually looking for. So, and, and, and Keith, a membership to the forum. Yeah. Okay. You get this for free. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. This is incredible. and this is this is definitely worth. This is going to pay for your membership many times over. Yeah, as, that's what. As that's you right. Start to learn it, okay. As you start to learn it, it, it this it, will. It, if you buy the app, okay. If you get on the app, yeah, it's going to pay. It's on there. It's going it's to pay for itself many times over. This is the one basic system that is in every one of our products, uh, so to speak. It's in the app. And of course, you get this. If you just join the YouTube channel, you're kind of a casual player, not at the professional level, or maybe go once or twice a month. Uh, you can join just the YouTube channel, get learn the V87 and a taste of some other things. Or, you know, if you're really serious and, and really want the, the full Monty, as I always say, is come on over to Beat the Casino and, you know, get involved with a lot of the professional full-time 
and part-time pros over there and uh, really dedicated great players from all over the world. And we do have them from all over the world. There's no doubt about that. So, um, Keith, you can do this. You can do this at a table. You can do this playing stadium bot ride. Yep. Okay. At a, at a kiosk, whatever machine. Yes. You, you can do this online. Uh huh. I don't think there's another methodology that uh, beat the casino or anybody else could offer that's going to give you this kind of uh, data and this kind of like uh, uh, methodology way to play. Yeah. It's going to deliver time and time again. Yeah. Is it going to win every single shoe? No, oh. it's not. Is it going to win, uh, you know, get you up into the high 50s, low 60 percent? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, if you if you follow this and and track track your statistics and, and play when we tell you to bet with this approach, this is uh, this is certainly one of the easiest ways to play and also one of the most successful. And, uh, you know, everyone will enjoy it. And uh, like you said, uh, you know, it, it'll pay for itself, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> If that and then some. <laughs> if that and then some, absolutely. So, so what are we looking at here, Kevin? I'll let you explain that. You know, the first thing we're going to talk about in this video is one stay one here, and we have this chart up. Uh, you know, and what are all these slashes for those folks who don't understand that? Well, well here's what what we did, Keith, and I, this was done. Uh, oh, yeah. I think about three or four years ago. I don't yeah, remember it was. anymore. It was three okay, or four I don't. Years I don't ago. know the date of it, but. What we decided to do was we took a regular scorecard, okay? Yep. And we said, let's create a scorecard and let's label it such that anybody, whether they're starting up or they've, they've been playing for 10 years, whatever, okay, right. is going to start getting this really quickly. Yeah. Okay? So, uh, obviously, the red circles represent bank. Yeah. And the blue circles represent player. Just like you go to the casino, red is bank, blue is player. Yeah. Okay, that's number one. Okay, number two, all we did was label, let's start at the beginning. So the very first thing in the top left corner is the fact that the bank, uh, the first uh, uh, scenario was the bank occurred. Yeah. That was number one bank. Yep. Then we had number two bank, we had number three bank, and it switched and it went to one player. One bank, one player, one bank, one player, one bank, three players, yep, right three here. banks, et cetera. Right here, yeah. You, you can go all the way across the shoe if you want, okay? Yep. I think anybody can see this. Yes. So the idea uh, down below, we kept track of the banker and the player events separately. But we also add them up to what we call combined. Yeah, you're right here. Because those three clues are going to help you decide what to bet next. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Those three, I'm going to say it again. Those three clues <laughs> are going to help you decide what to bet next. Yep, they will. They are not always going to tell you what to bet next because sometimes, you know, in certain shoes, they'll be equal or they won't have, right. you know, the disparity of, you know, what you're saying here. Right. But they will guide you to the point where you can make bets as comfortably as possible. Yes, So absolutely. OK, so the, the first line of the uh, chart there is as one stays one. Yeah, right here. I got the cursor on it there, buddy. Yep. You got it. Okay. So we've got a separate one for the banker. We got a separate one for the player, which we got to do. You got to play these games. It's like two games in one. Yeah. And then we got combined. Combined. Because sometimes the combined is going to really give you the clue. Okay. Yeah. So the very yes. first thing we have up there in the top left hand corner of the shoe is we have a one. Yes. We have one meaning it went bank the very first hand of the shoe. Yep. And by the way, we are not counting ties here. No, we're, we're ignoring the ties for that. Okay, we are ignoring the ties. Yep. Okay, so where where the the circled red circle number 1 is, that means that the bank occurred first. Yep. And it was a 1. Now, at the time we labeled it a 1, it was unconfirmed. We did not know if it was going to stay one or go to two. Two, right. Okay. 
Well, guess what? It went to two in a row, unconfirmed, but but it went to two in a row. Yeah. That's the two on the bank side. Yep. Okay. And then, so you can see down below, one goes to two. That's confirmed now. The one went to a two. two. Right. In a row. So that very first slash, uh, I'm, I'm trying to point to it there, right there. Uh, <laughs> on the on the bank side, the red side, okay, yeah, right is there. one went to a two. One went to two. That was the first slash mark that was on this chart when we made it. That is correct. Yeah. Then the two went to a three. So that's confirmed now. The two went to a three. Yep. So see where it says two goes to three? Two goes to three. That's the first slash. Okay, there's a there. slash there. Yep. Well, then what happened is it switched to a one. So the, where it says three stays three on the right side, it says three stays three. Okay. That's what happened. That's what happened. It stayed three. The three in a row stayed three. Yes. So that very first mark on three stays three was because it stayed three. There you go. Now we got to switch sides because it went to player. Yep. Okay. Well, that very first switch to the player, we don't know. It's unconfirmed right now. We don't know if it's going to stay one. Look at the player side, the blue side. Yep. We don't know if it's going to stay or go to two. Go to two. We don't know that. Well, guess what? It stayed one. Yep. See, it stayed one. So we got to make a mark there, and we got to add the total now. We got uh, – a one stays one on the player yep. and on the banker side, it didn't, it's, it went to two. So it's hard to see this, but the very first black mark on the combined. Okay. Right here. Was that at least one time between the player or between the banker and player, it stayed one. Stayed one. That's right. That's right. And we just went through this whole shoe and did yeah, this. That's all we did. Just went through the whole shoe and did that. So that now, it, go ahead. I'm sorry. It, it, Keith, I just want to say if you become a forum member, this is all going to be explained. Yeah, it's all in detail. If you, if you uh, get the app, you, you're going to have access to see this. Right. Right. Okay. So th this is this is like kind of the high level that we're trying to go through to give folks a feeling for what this is. Well, listen, let's put up another shoe here, could I, Kevin? Yeah. yeah okay. Let, let me put up a new shoe. Um, let me take a look at one. Let, let's start with the basics here. I'm going to put the, I, I think this one, I'll put the shoe up that's done. And then maybe on the, when we look at another shoe, we'll do it hand over hand. But uh, can you see that? Okay. There, Kevin, are you getting that? that yeah. Shoe? And where, where are you getting this from, Keith? Where, I got this, this from the strategic Baccarat interface. That's uh, of uh, literally almost 10, oh, we're getting on close to 10,000 shoes we have from all over the world from our players. So, so we've uh, got 10,000 shoes or yeah. you've got Keith, 10,000 shoes actually played in various casinos across the world. It shows the, when they're played, the date that uh, the casino they were played at. Yep. And the beauty is of strategic black rod interfaces. You can go back and play them hand by hand by hand. Yeah. You, you don't have to see the whole thing. We're seeing the whole thing here right now. Right. Right. That's okay. But you don't have to, you don't have, you can play it one at a time. Yes. One you can, you can play them one, one at a time play at a time. That's right. So from a practice standpoint, I mean. Hey, Keith. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? Great. Are you going to go play block rock tonight? Yeah, you're going to come along. 10,000 shoes? Yeah. Real shoes? Real, Real shoes. parts of shoes? Are you kidding me? That's right. So what I'm going to do here, Kevin, is I'm going to put on, I'm going to put one stay one. Okay. Yep. And then here I'm going to put. Ones go to two. Okay. And here I'll put two stays two. Here I'm going to put twos. They go to three. Three stays 
three. And I think for the purposes of this video, that's probably enough for now. No, so I think, I, I think I keep put up there. Three goes to four or more. Oh, you know, oh, I'd like to see that. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where the whole thing. Yeah. I'm going to try to, well, trying to, I, I, Oh, select. Here we go. I, I think I could. Yeah. Okay. Forgive me. Let me get this up here. Let me put this over this way a little bit. Uh, this one, I got to move down here. That's a little bit, that's a little bit more. The two goes to three should be under the two stays two. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. There we go. And we'll do three stays three. And we need one more. Three goes to four or more. Yeah. Three goes to four or more. Okay. We, we don't care if it goes to infinity, but we just care that it changes. You know, and we'll we'll do the first couple here. So, and and, and when you do banker and player separately, remember we got to do yep. player and banker, banker and player, whichever one you know you want separately. Now I think I can copy these. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll put those. So we'll do we'll do this for uh, this will be the the player side right here. Okay. 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 Now I, I'm just gonna. Oh, I can't copy. Okay. I'm gonna put the banker side right here. One no problem. stays one. One goes to two, and then we need two stays two, and I can speed this up. And then we have two goes to three. And three stays three. And three goes to four or more. Okay. So there we have it. I'm going to. So what them. I would say, Keith, is uh, uh, this is my scorebook. OK, this is my, you know, <laughs> and this is what I do. OK, what I'm saying is, is you're going to have this all pre labeled in yeah. your workbook. OK, uh, so that uh, you'll just know banker and player have to be played separately and then you're going to play it in total. Yeah. Okay. There we have it. So now uh, the combined scores, uh, we'll, we'll have to calculate. Uh, uh, do we need that to start off, Kevin? Do we want to put combined in, or we just want to talk about banker and player once? As long as as long as we know that we ultimately got to talk about it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, you okay. know, I don't recommend that anybody play the first six to nine hands or ten hands right. of a shoe uh, with, without, you know, a, a break or a breather. I mean, I don't I don't recommend it. And sometimes it'll start off and it'll be beautiful. And it'll yeah. just go one, 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 one bank or one player, one bank, one player, one bank. You know what I mean? Right. Or two banks, two players, two banks. But that's unlikely. It is. It so is. I would say that, you know, you, you shouldn't be really be doing this until you're, you know, in the, you know, 10 to 12 range. Yeah. Yeah. By right. then you might have some information you can use. Right. Right. Well, let, so, let we can know. put the first couple in. Uh, sure. We, sure. Okay. So, so the put first one was a bank was uh, stayed one. So I'll just use this last. Yeah. Now I don't have, well, maybe I can. Okay. Let me do it with a pen. <laughs> then I can. Then I can. Uh, so there's our our first banker stayed one. Then here right. are our, our first. Our first, first player, player stayed. played one. Our second right. our second event our banker our first one uh, went to two. Went so, to two. So that confirmed. would confirmed. Confirmed. Okay. Then our third event our. Our first one went to two on player. Now on the on the bank side, on the bank side. 
Oh, I'm sorry. The two stayed two. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I missed that. One goes to two. And then the two stayed two. Forgot that one. Yep. Yep. Okay. Then here, our first one went to two. Right. Remember, it was unconfirmed until it went to two. Here, our two went to three. Confirmed. Confirmed. Okay. Here, our three stays three. That's confirmed. That's confirmed. Okay, then so we have- let's, let's stop right there, Keith. Let's stop right there. All okay? right. So we've got seven events, or so, I'm sorry, seven hands. Okay, four completed events, a one, a one, a two, and a three. So we got nothing. Right. We got nothing right now. And I just want to make it out here that this is the player side. But, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. That's the plan. And that's all explaining how to create your scorecard. You know, that's yeah, that's that that's is. the forum. The forum will do that for you. Okay, so now let's go ahead. And the banker side, label the banker side. If uh, you can. Well, I, I can't. Well, I can put it over oh, okay. here. No, I can't. I it, it on my screen I have the the interface uh documentation. So it's okay, okay. there we are. Okay, okay. No, there no we problem. Go. There it is, banker. Okay, so now we're here. And this is, uh, let me get my pen back here. Draw, and I want that. Okay, so this is our one stayed one on player. So I'm uh, going to- One go, stayed one on banker. On banker, I'm sorry. So that's going to go there. Yeah. Then that's it. Then we went over to player and one stayed one on player. That's correct. Now we got two. Okay. Our next one is one goes to two on banker. That's correct. And our two stays two on banker. Now we have that. Right. So it didn't advance. Didn't advance. The next one is our one stayed one on player. That's correct. Okay. So now we so, got. So to I want to stop you, Keith. Yeah, okay. please. That's fine. So, so, so now. We're at the point where we've got uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're at the twelfth hand. Yep. We're starting to have some information, you know, that we ought to be looking at. That's right. The most, the, the most topically of which is the one stays one on player. Yep. Right here. Okay. Do you want me yeah. to go on? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Okay. Now we're on the banker side again. Now we're on the banker side with it three in a row. So we would have marked that up that one goes to two. The two goes to three. And the three stayed three. Then we're going to go, go one more here over to the player. The one stayed one. The next one, the banker, the one stayed one. The next one on the player, the one stayed one. And that gives us five of them right there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's easy for me to lose my place here. So help me out here. Uh, if I miss. I, I, you're right on it. You got okay. your cursor right on it. Here, the banker, the one stayed one. Yep. Then we went to player, the one stayed one. We got six. So at this point, what are you thinking here, Kevin, after this? Are you making a bet yet? Well, yeah, yeah. I had been making a bet a while ago. Okay. Um, uh, the, the idea is if you see a couple in a row, you know, one stays one, one goes to two, two stays two, two goes to three, three stays three, or three goes to three or more. Right. If you see a couple of those in a row, OK, you're going to want to probably make a bet. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Sometimes you're going to get one stays one and then one goes to two on the player side or the banker side. Doesn't matter. And right. you see one stays two or or two. I'm sorry. Two stays two <laughs> right. or two goes to three. Exactly. And then it goes back and forth. OK. Right. What you're looking at. V87 is designed visual 87 percent solution. Yep. is specifically designed to give you a couple of wins 
in the average shoe, okay? And they could come at the 20th hand. Right. They could come at the 40th hand. They could come at the 60th hand. It's not designed to give you 12 units. No. Okay. Okay. And you'll have shoes wear will, but that's not what it's, it's, it's there to give you a comfort level that using the statistics, the mathematics, the uh, 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 normalcy uh, of frequency of events, it's designed to segregate and highlight and pick out those shoes. They're going to give you a couple of units, uh, you know, somewhere early on, uh, probably. As it did here, uh, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it's not going to give you... You know, I think I think he. All you got to do is put put the cursor. I don't know if you can see my finger. I don't know. Well, no, I I can't see after you. after the after the red bank before it goes four player, four player, seven player. Here. Uh, yeah. Well, go back a little bit further. Go back to the left. Yeah. Yeah. Go back. Ah, uh, one more. Yeah, right there. Okay. As you can see, up to that point, you only had one time where the bank went to it went to two a couple of times yep twice but it stayed that's it. one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten stayed bank nine times and it went to two or more five times that's yeah, that, nine to five it's nine you to would five. have made some money in there if you had been in the shoe that long yep but let's look at player okay, okay? Player stayed one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times confirmed. Yep. And it only went to two or more, two, two or three, whatever, or more, four times. That's eleven to four. Oh, yeah. So I think the first clue, Kevin, was here. It, it was, you could see a little bit in the one stay one when we segregate them out, but when we combine them early after this hand, you can see combined one stay one on player and banker was 10 and combined one goes to two was only four. So that gave you a clue real early in the shoot yes. somewhere yes. in here that said, and you even said maybe before, I mean, sure, even if this was at six or seven, seven, that's a disparity of three, you probably would have jumped on it somewhere in here one stand one that it's going to be a chopper right, shoe. Right. And and the nice thing about this it, of tracking this way, it's easy to make slashes, but now the app has even made it a lot easier with colors and and you know coded and and uh, makes it real easy, especially if you play Stadium Bach because it's so darn fast, you know. It, it, Stadium Bach is so fast that the app is really advantageous to use it in Stadium Bach So so th I this I think what I'd like to summarize this Keith with is that, you know, we are taught that you can't win bot right because it's 50 50. Yeah. Okay. However, we have proven that if you just play for the short term, you've got a much higher uh, uh, chance of winning. Yeah, absolutely. Than to, to just assume that it's going to be 50 yeah. 50. Yes, it might all revert to 50 50 over a long period of time. Some shoes will just be 50 50, but many shoes will not be. No. And we're not just using player and banker when we right. do this. Yeah. In this particular case, V87 is designed to use just player and banker. We could play this with opposites and repeats. Oh yeah, we got all <laughs> sorts of yeah, we got all sorts of statistics that'll add and and you know enhance the play of the V87 and and enhance the play of everything and the app does that or you know that's what we talk about at beat the casino all the time is how how do we get ahead what statistics are significant and uh you know how do you play for the short term and you know the beauty of baccarat is that it's naturally the short term because it's a shoe that's it's it's it's, it's the way the cards are dealt that's you know? right just it's the out. darn shoe they're just coming out if the shoe's going to end and grab, grab, you're not playing for the long term. You're playing for the short term. And the V87 and, helps you identify those things. Go ahead. I'm sorry. And, and, and the big, okay. So, so let's just put the, put the cursor, Keith, after that last one in a row on the banker side before it goes to four players. Yeah, right here. Okay. Right there. Just keep the cursor there. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to count backwards just to show you about the opposites to repeat, okay? Okay, go ahead. Okay. 
let's see how many opposites we have. We can't count the first one, or we can't count the first, you know, red, red. We got to go, the player went opposite, then the bank. All you got to do is count along the top line. Right. Okay. I'm, I'm going to count them right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We have 30 opposites. Yeah. At that point, 30 opposites. Now let's count the repeats. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11. 30 opposites. And 11 repeats. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, uh, somebody write that down at home. If you're at home, count that. Now, let's do player and banker. Okay. Okay. At that same point, Keith, put your cursor up there after that little red one. Yeah, right there, right there, right there, right there. Let's count banker. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21 bankers. 21 bankers. Let's do the players. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 players. Yeah, you'd have never found anything there. Kate, you'd have yeah. never found anything. That's right. Looking at those statistics. And that's the beauty of, of all these statistics that we track and the app and beat the casino. That's what we're trying to point out is you have to look a little bit deeper sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So this listen, is the go ahead. simplest way how to win at Buck Rock. Yep. And if you want to win more, add more statistics, you want to get better, get your hit rate up even more. The statistics that Kevin pointed out, you got to look deeper. You can't just look at banker and player or the, the common ones that you look at. Uh, take, for instance, here, uh, the V87 solution, where we're looking at all sorts of different statistics, and you can see the disparity in them, and we're looking for what wins. In this case, it was opposites and repeats, which, of course, the app tracks and the, and the players that beat the casino talk about all the time. But in this case, it was ones Staying ones was probably one of the best ways to play. And, you know, yeah, it's it's correct. ironic you say that. When ones stay one, banker and player are going back and forth a lot of times. But listen, if you're only tracking disparity in banker and player, you're going to miss the ones stay one. All you got to do is wait for a one in a row and bet opposite, you know, or bet opposite. So um, th that's that's what we're trying to get, get to here is get you to look at different statistics and, you know, turn you into a winning player by looking at these statistics. And what shoe was this again, Keith? And where was it played and when? Uh, this was played. Uh, it's in the strategic box runner face. I didn't cop copy where it was. played. Oh, okay. I, I believe it yeah. was played at. Uh, uh, I, th I think it was played online, to be honest with you. I, if I remember correctly from. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, my bookie, perhaps, I think uh, a couple players have played there or, uh, or, uh, it, 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 it really doesn't matter. matter. All yeah. I'm saying is that this is a real shoe. Yeah. It's a real shoe. played by one of our players and recorded and posted to the forum. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, this, this is not, you know, I mean, I, we can make up shoes and show you. Well, yeah. You know, yeah. But this is a real, know, this shoe. is real. This is, this is real, real stuff. stuff, real stuff. So, all right. Well, listen, we will have our series. We'll talk about some other stuff here uh, coming up with the, the V87. If you know, if you want want to really learn how to play V87, you know, if you're a casual player, you know, please join our, our channel uh, as a member. Uh, at least hit the subscribe and alerts button. And, you know, if you really want to get into it, uh, join our uh, professional players club at beat the casino where uh kevin and all of us hang out all the time and uh talk about an awful lot of stuff about baccarat we have some really really good professional players from uh from all around the world and from australia to macau to las vegas to atlantic city you name it we got players and kevin you're always in las vegas absolutely yeah. kate this is this is what i call a gift shoe yeah, it's a gift shoe. Even That's, though even though we had a shoe change there. Yeah. But once the players started dropping, you know. Yeah. Well, we're in and out. A, uh, I'd have been in and out of this thing, you yeah. know, a couple of times. Yeah, in and out of this <laughs> one. Uh, we'd have definitely been out after, I, you know, probably even V87, you could have picked up a, an easy five or six on this. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this yeah. is big. Oh, man. Yeah. If yeah. I could get this, you know, uh, once a week. 
Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Once a week, just give me this, baby. That's it. So, so learn how to identify these shoes. Kevin in Vegas, listen, just a plug. We'll be out on the 19th again. Uh, we got a bunch of people, a bunch of our players are coming out. Uh, yourself, myself, my wife, Canada Bach, world famous up there in Canada will be out. Rail Rabbit, Mookie, the whole crew will be out there and uh, maybe some surprises too. So uh, we'll, we'll all oh, be there. I'm sure there'll be a few. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have 20 or 30. It's always fun to walk in with 20 people looking at you playing at a Baccarat table. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a little too hairy sometimes. Here, but anyway. give me some money. Here, I'll put I'll place your bet for you. <laughs> yeah, they, they actually do that. It's kind of funny, you know. Uh, so I guess we'll hit all our favorite spots, probably play some stadium baccarat, mess with the app quite a bit, uh, and talk with some players and uh, have a great time like we always do. So, Kevin, until next time, uh, this is uh, Keith and Kevin, the baccarat guys with the V87 solution. Thanks for watching. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Great. Are you going to go play Baccarat tonight? Yeah, you're going to come along? Yeah. All right, let's go. go. All right. <laughs>